In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to create the next animation, which would be a walk animation. Now, I'm not an animator by profession, so you'll have to forgive me if it looks a little bit crude and it's not what you're expecting, but it'll get the job done and you'll learn a little bit more how to use the editor. So one way to create a new animation clip is we could just click on the plus sign here, creates a new clip, starts over just like we did with the stand animation with blank keyframes but that means we'd have to set all the images over again and that would be kind of tedious so let's not do that let's delete this instead let's right click the stand animation and duplicate first frames what that does is it creates a new animation clip that starts the frames over with the first frames of the stand animation that's why we want to be so careful to have our stand animation the first frames um, the way we want them so that as we create new clips, we can do it easily and quickly. So let's rename this clip. Let's call it Walk. Now to begin, I like to start my walk animation with the legs. So I'm going to do that. So I click on the first frame of the left leg. I just want to rotate it out. And then right leg back. Now like I, I said before I like to bookend first so let's go ahead and duplicate the first keyframe. So I'm copying this keyframe to this keyframe. Do the same with the other leg. And then go into the middle of the animation. Again no change because they're the same. Right click on this and we're going to change the position and the rotation of the legs so we'll go ahead and do the shortcut position rotation so that position and rotation is already set and we don't have to click blank and then fill these in and we'll go ahead and go to the opposite end of the leg and do the same with the other leg okay now we have those set we can scrub it kind of see them gliding if you play it you need to loop it if you play it you can see he just kind of glides along doesn't really look natural it's like he's just sliding so we're gonna add in some more bounce to his legs so let's start with this leg now he's at the swing and he wants to come back down again this is not a uh, walk cycle tutorial uh, so you may do this differently but this is the way I like to do it bring the leg down, kind of level it, and as we scrub forward, see the leg come out. Instead of just sliding back, we want to actually have the leg kick up and come in a bit so that it comes back out. So now when we play, just watching this one leg, you can see how it comes down, comes up. Let's do the same with the other leg. Kick it back, bring it up, bring it down, and level it. Now when we play, see it's a little more natural. So we select one of the keyframes. You can see on the right here for each property there's uh, animation curves. If we want to tweak these we can actually go and let's say we want to tweak the rotation of the left leg. We can click on this. It'll bring up an animation curve editor. And this shows the rotation degrees. It shows the frames where the keyframes are hitting and it shows the keyframes. So here we have a little bit of a bump. We probably don't want that. So let's click on one of the keyframes. Let's drag this down. Let's click on this keyframe. And you can rotate the tangents. So make it a little more smooth. Now there's different types of tangents. You can have the smooth tangent where left and right are the same. You can break it where they can go individual. You can also level it out 
you can change the left and right tangents individually. So the left tangent's at free right now, so you can move it freely. You can set it to linear so that it'll always point to the previous tangent. You can set it to constant so it'll just go and then change immediately. You can do the same with the left tangent or the right tangent. But for this, we want it smooth. You can also add new keyframes. If, if this add points is on, you can see as I get close to a keyframe, a plus sign appears. I can add a new keyframe, which will make it appear here. But it'll only keyframe for the walk, leg left, local rotation. It won't keyframe for position or anything else because we're only doing rotation. You can also delete this keyframe we just created by clicking on this button. Hit confirm. It goes away. You can also set the values of these, uh, of this rotation, 0, 1. These are common elements, uh, especially for scaling. If you wanted to scale to 1, that'd be a common number. 0 is a common number, so I just put those in there so you don't have to try to drag precisely or set it in the bone properties window. This window is just like the other windows. It can be dragged, scaled, and you can fit to the window to show the whole, whole curve. You can also drag keyframes back and forth. You know, notice it snaps to the frame because in the editor, you have to set it by frame. If you don't feel that that's enough precision, you might want to make your animation spread out more and just speed it up. That way you get more, more frames uh, per second. If you don't like this uh, plus sign showing up for the adding points, you can turn that off and it won't show up anymore. So that's the animation curve. Let's go ahead and look at these others. See, that's kind of a bumpy there, so let's go and smooth this a bit. This one I was just on. Okay, so those look okay. Let's go to the other leg. Make sure that there's nothing, there's a bump. Okay, so we've kind of smoothed it out a bit. Play it back. Not as much jiggle in the legs. Okay, so now we got that. Let's go ahead and rotate the arms. This arm, the uh, left arm is going to follow the right leg, so let's Rotate it with the right leg. The right arm is going to follow the left leg. So let's rotate it with the left leg, these two. And then halfway, we want to insert a position rotation keyframe. Rotate it up to match. Click the other one, position rotation keyframe. Rotate down to match that one. And then we can just duplicate the first keyframe on each of these so that they move back. If we play it, See the arms are following the legs. Now he's very stiff, he's still gliding along. So one thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new bone. And let's rename this to bounce. Now when we create a new bone, it actually creates it for every animation. So we got stand, it's there, walk, it's there. So it doesn't have any keyframes, so it's just an empty bone in, in each of those animations, but keep in mind that it will create it for every animation. Now we want this bounce to be the new root of all these bones so that we can attach it. We could just drag and drop each bone, low level bone, to that bounce, but that would be kind of tedious. So there's a shortcut if we right click. I don't know if you can see that on the window. If you right click on this, you can make bone the base. When you do that, it puts it at the right above root and makes every bone a child of it. So now we can go back and animate the bounce. So this will be our low point in the bounce. When the legs are together, this will be the high point. So insert a blank keyframe. We don't need rotation. We just need the Y. Notice we didn't set an image 
which is just a transform only. So it doesn't need an image for this bone. So there are bones that don't need images. Let's insert a blank. Let's do the Y, bring it back down. Let's insert another blank, put a Y, bring it back up, and just duplicate the first keyframe. So now when he walks, he's got a little bit of bounce, and it looks like when he hits the ground, he's moving up, which is what we want. So that looks a little better. You can see his tunic though is still pretty stiff. So we'll go to the tunic here. You see how it kind of balloons out a bit. We're gonna insert a blank and let's put a X scale in. Scale it in, insert a blank, scale it back out. And another blank. Scale it back in and copy the first one. So now it kind of moves with his legs. So that looks pretty good. That's that's our walk animation. That's a little bit slow. Let's speed it up a bit. So now he's got a little more pep in his step. So he's moving, moving along now. I believe that's all we need to do for the walk animation. The next tutorial will I'll show you how to script this so that you can actually create it um, on your on your mesh in real time.